Hi guys, welcome back to Kessie's Cuisine, where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes. If you're new to this channel, hello, you're welcome. And if you're old in this channel, what's up? Thank you for coming back to my channel. I love you guys. So today we are going to be making a very easy brunch at home. All right, we are going to be making some French toast, some well seasoned coated chicken and we are going to be serving it with some strawberries some ice cream um, and some blueberries so basically brunch idea like brunch brunch all right so let's get right into action first things first we are going to be i'm going to be using some chicken chicken wings so i'll be marinating my chicken for about an hour and then will get right to the main action so first i'm using some pepper some paprika yeah i'm going to be using some some paprika powder i'm going to be using some amount of curry and then i'm also going to be using like just pick the basic spices that you would normally use to season your chicken all right anything that is more flavorful to you is really really fine and then i use some sweet chicken spice because i really 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 love it for marinating my chicken and then i'm going to be using some milk and some greek yogurt to marinate it once you see milk and greek yogurt in a chicken that i am marinating just know that that chicken is going to be bomb like mad ass tasty so i added in my milk i added in my yogurt and you want to stir that properly stir it very well and then you want to marinate it for about mm, if you don't really have time <coughs> if you don't really have time 30 minutes is fine but if you have like a good amount of time you can use an hour to or overnight but i just did mine for an hour and it came out like really 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 perfect after 30 minutes i will be after 30 minutes of marinating i will start my brunch process proper so i'll be using some amount of eggs for the amount of bread that i had i'll be using three eggs and then to that i'll be adding in i'll be using two eggs and then to that i'll be adding in um, an amount of milk i'll add in some paprika powder and then also paprika pep um, pepper and then i am going to be adding in some vanilla extract now for this you do not have to spice your egg at all because let's say i don't know but for me for me personally actually i don't need to spice my um, eggs again because my bread was um, a sweet bread so now nah. so for this recipe you would want what is preferable is a whole bread like not sliced bread or anything the whole bread is preferable preferably if you can if you can lay your uh, your hands on some agege bread that is going to do some very very good justice but because i didn't have agege bread i'll be using this bread and i'll be using some butter to fry my bread or to toast my bread then to, to a hot pan you want to like um rub it properly with your butter and then you want to soak your bread left right center everywhere make sure it is generously soaked in that egg and milk and then you want to add that bread to your already hot pan okay now if you are making this make sure that your heat is medium heat because if it is too high your bread is going to burn without it cooking through all right so make sure that it is medium heat and that you allow it you flip it regularly until it is golden brown on all sides do you understand me until it is golden brown just like this like this next clip like it's not burnt but it's really really cooked golden brown well well toasted now when my um as i was doing my bread it was the right time for me to start frying my chicken to my leftover egg and milk that i had by the side i'll be adding in some more eggs and with that i'll be using that egg to coat my chicken i'll be using some eggs and some flour my flour was seasoned with um, a cube of maggi 
so you add your chicken wings to your egg add it to your flour for me i usually like double coating put your chicken in your eggs first step put it in your uh, in your flour that's one coating and then you repeat the process again that's double coating do you understand me and to that you want to like to a very hot oil you want to add your chicken let me explain this process of this frying chicken because you know that this your chicken is not cooked bar so what you want to do is that you allow your oil to be very hot then you will reduce the heat to medium heat do you understand reduce your heat to a medium heat so that your chicken can cook all through because it is very very it is very very gross to be eating your chicken and then you break it open and then you see some blood residues you don't want that so make sure you fry your chicken on medium heat a trick that i learned to know if your chicken is well cooked when you are frying your chicken try to use a fork to poke your chicken when you poke your chicken that is on the fire frying if it is not well cooked it is going to bring out some water and with that water is going to come out some blood residues all right i didn't show it in this video but i think i would show that in like a, a, a video on its own how to fry chicken that is not cooked if you see that blood and water coming out of your chicken put your chicken back in your oil j j j you understand so that's how to fry like chicken that is not um they, they are not cooking at all medium heat is yeah it's going to give you the best so with that being said my chicken was ready my bread was ready and it was time for me to plate my brunch and yes i know this is a homemade brunch but this came out in fact fantastic even if sometimes even someone came out more tasty than what you buy in the restaurant sorry to say yeah yes so <laughs> this is all for this video plate your food for me i'll be using some um ice cream some strawberry and some blueberry to for my presentation to serve my food and yes we'll be using some honey to give the bread some very very extra creamy sauce but you can use whatever sauce you you would prefer but that was what i preferred now this is all for this video make sure you do try out this recipe easy cheap very very tasty brunch idea and i will see you in my next video until then do subscribe comment share and like this video love you bye